Okay, this is a very quick, rough and vulgar crash course to investigate Jeff Claw's theory. Why would the government be interested in expanding the airspace into essentially what are the areas walked by Kenny Veach? I truly believe that is purely coincidental. And one thing that piqued the curiosity is whether or not we have a line of sight to Area 51 on any of these peaks and summits. So here's Area 51. You can quickly eyeball if you have a right line of sight here. You want to get lower, lower, lower? Well, you're going to be a little higher than... Okay, even though you, you look, it's still too high. Okay, so Area 51, not quite a great line of sight. Exit ground view. Let's see if we can get a line of sight on Area 51. Hidden Forest Ridge. Not quite. Move towards, not the game warden's pad, uh, cabin. Highest point, Hayford Peak. Any line of sight? Not as good. Okay, the closest mountain. This is Tikaboo Peak or something? And he saw some YouTubers there. Well, I guess some people put that on YouTube. Some, you know, even famous, uh, you know, pretty renowned folks and stuff like this. But uh, where's Tikaboo Tika Peak? Okay, so the whole Area 51 hoopla. One thing that was really odd is you have... I'll watch some famous YouTube, I mean, not really famous, they have like millions of subscribers. Essentially, uh, you got a few young men that, essentially, they pulled off a stunt. Their channel's a stunt channel where they do pranks and stuff. And they got, um, they got charged with trespassing, and apparently they had a court date or something, based on their own footage, what, what they commented. And they were uh, basically, uh, they were basically arrested, well, basically, you know, by the soldiers, the guards or whatever, but, um, in hindsight, that's all, that's a slap in the wrist. That's absolutely slap in the wrist. Look at all the folks on YouTube and whatever, you know, they're out there trying to take a sneak peek. I mean, I think some people do that for stunts. Let me get grainy pictures of Area 51, and that's going to garner, like, hundreds of thousands of views, get you probably... 300 subscribers. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, but um, here's a publicity stunt. Now, if if it, it's a slap in the wrist, they, you know, the folks are treated. Uh, U.S. nationals, they're treated. They're treated with kids gloves. Absolute, absolute kids gloves. Um, you know what? So, so some some if some hooligans do a stunt, they get a slap in the wrist. Maybe they'll they have to fight a trespassing charge, do a day in jail or something. Oh, give me a Give me a frickin' break. Um, if you try that stunt elsewhere in a different country that doesn't have all these civil protections, uh, could be um, could be detained forever, could be disappeared forever. Um, so this whole kids' glove treatment about Area 51, that's different perspectives. You need an outside perspective to get a, to get a grip on Area 51. Get an, you, in, it's um, you, you look at all the, uh, the the punishments could be a lot worse elsewhere. So the, the hoopla about Area 51 is just something that just makes makes us scratch our heads. It makes us scratch our heads because you got all these people. They're what? They're, they're literally some people. I th I think they're doing stunts. I mean, for or you know they, they were trying to get us close. Some even get arrested for what? You get like um. You're going to get a million views, and out of 3 million views, maybe you'll get 300 subscribers? 3,000 subscribers? But, um, so I think, you know, if they wanted to deter stunt people um, for whatever fame or popularity, they'll know who's who, they're not, they're, you know, who's um, who's basically trying to punk them for, 
for publicity and stuff like that. But if they if they uh if they did what the other governments do, hey, uh, mandatory mandatory five year incarceration for any type of silly stunts. You are you gonna see anything new on YouTube? Are are you gonna see any Area 51 stuff on YouTube? Well, uh, probably not. That that will silence the that will silence YouTube stunts real fast, real fast. Guarantee you that. Um, so line of sight thing. Not I mean well, Tikaboo Peak. So so why doesn't the government uh, take over this range? Why don't they take over this range? Because you have YouTubers. You have if you check YouTube, you have YouTubers doing stunts and pointing it, pointing a, a lens towards Area 51 where they get grainy footage and they get a lot of views and you'll get some subs and stuff like that, right? So uh, if they want to, they want to shut down what you know if the whole Area 51 thing was sheep range. Well, uh, government should take over this mountain, take Badger Mountain, uh, block this off, block this whole thing off from the public, block the surrounding ranges, anything with a real line of sight, block that off. 